Hello and welcome to episode 339 of Album Review. Today we have the solo album by Ace Freddy, uh, requested by Rockdo, who requested a lot of Kiss albums, pretty much everything from the 70s, almost everything, and Creatures of the Night, Creatures of the Night, 1982, I think. Uh, not the biggest Kiss fan, honestly, but I do dig me some Kiss here and there. So there we go. Uh, yeah, this solo album right here, it pretty much has the best ratings. It pretty much is the only fan favorite and the critically acclaimed disc from all the solo albums. So this was pretty much like uh, the album that I anticipated most because, you know, it's is the ho most highest rated album from uh, the band. And this was pretty much because all of the band members just kind of scraped something together. Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Peter Christian, or they kind of got something together and they just went with that because they didn't have anything better. Um, and Ace Frehley was the only one that kind of stayed out of the spotlight, was the only one that kind of reserved his solo writing. His, uh, or his, you know, his songs in general. And just kind of saved it up for a solo album, really. So he saved that up and he basically made this album, which was the, the best thing that he could do. And yeah, he pretty much got the best so, uh, uh, Kiss solo album, really. really. Um, it didn't under overperform itself, if overperform is a thing, but um, it just kind of performed decently, in my opinion. It's, it, um, you know. Didn't exceed my expectations, but it just kind of uh, succeed, or not succeeded, but yeah, it just kind of succeeded my expectations, you know, it just did what it did to me, what I expected, and I got that, so there we go. Uh, we have the opening song, which is Rip It Out. Um, yeah, I don't know how the chorus went again, but it's really catchy, Rip It Out, you know. I cannot remember that chorus uh, for the life of me, but it was a really catchy opening song. Uh, I really like the hooks on this album, on this track right there. A very fantastic opening song, I really dug it, and pretty much an instant classic, really. Then we have Speeding Back to My Baby, and this is honestly probably my least favorite song of the album. Um, it just kind of sounds generic, it's just kind of, you know, repetitive. Um, it's decent, it's decent for what it is, but it's, I just didn't really care for this song, honestly. Uh, then we have Snowblind, not, not the Black Sabbath song, because, you know, this is uh, with a cap between it. Pop a cap in your ass. Uh, you know, it has a cap between Snow and Blind, so there we go. Is Snowblind one word? I don't know. You know, is Black Sabbath correct or Kiss? I, w I, I would say Black Sabbath, you know, because more intelligent band. Kiss, you know, kind of a joke band, but still some good songs, I guess. So let me know in the comments what it is, because I honestly don't know. Yeah, I think it's one word, but I'm not sure, maybe it's two, I don't fucking know. You, you guys probably don't know either, but let me know in the comments if you know. Maybe it can be both, but whatever. Snowblind, pretty heavy song. Uh, Ace Frehley is describing that he is going to be snowblind or something because I think it's like a metaphor for I'm getting high on this cocaine or I'm doing too much drugs or something. Very kicking song, uh, very heavy, you know, very heavy on the guitar riffs. Uh, I just love the screaming from Ace Frehley on this track. Really fantastic track right here. I really love it. Probably, yeah, probably my favorite of the album because it's just so fucking heavy. But still, it's kind of rocking, you know, it's do it doesn't overstate welcome, it just kind of does what it does and it, it just kind of fades out, honestly, or it just kind of explodes and then it just fades out. Um, yeah, I do love the metaphors, you know, if you don't know what snowblind means, it means that um, the sun is so bright and, you know, you have um, orts, you know, there's a thick layer of snow la laying on the ground, they have some, you know, some sun shining on it. And the sun kind of, you know, if the sun shines really bright, it can actually make you snow blind. What that means is if you look at the snow, it's so bright and so white, you know, that it actually can blind you. So that, that is snow blind right there. I didn't know that until, until it was explained to me, but there you go. If you, was, 
if if you were curious, then there you go. I have a way with words. Fuck me, man. Uh, then we have Ozone, which is just another classic. It's an instant classic, a very classic riff on this album. It just sounds kind of like classic rock in my opinion. Kicking riffs, a uh, good length, 4 minutes 41 seconds. Uh, doesn't overstay as well, come and does what it does, and it just kind of goes away again. Classic song, great title, an overall classic, instant classic. So there we go. Uh, what's on your mind? Not to be confused with, um, how's the song called again? Where is my mind? But the Pixies, but. Uh, honestly, this is a pretty kicking song. It, it, it is a kind of generic, honestly. It probably is my least favorite, together with Speeding Back to My Baby. It just kind of does what it does and it just kind of goes away again. Uh, it kind of feels filler to me. It is a good song, but it, yeah, you know, it doesn't have a lot of legs to stand on. It is just kind of bland, kind of generic, honestly. But it is a good song. It is a good song, but honestly, it's kind of forgettable to me. It just kind of sounds like typical Kiss. Which arguably is every kiss song ever, but sure. Uh, now we have New York Groove, and this is just a really groovy song, you know, as the title would suggest. Very kind of like j uh, jazz drums on this track. It just kind of sounds really interesting, honestly. The riffs are really interesting. This song just screams uh, experimental to me. Not per se, it's, it is a really intricate song or something, but it sounds different from a typical kiss. So this song really gets me with the grooves and with just the, the, the song in general, you know. It is the only single of the album, so that proves how groovy it is. Really good song. And yeah, groovy is probably one of the most outdated words ever. But, you know, that is what the song is, so cannot deny that, but... Damn, is that an outdated word? <laughs> then we have I'm in Need of Love, which is... Um, kind of a crooning song. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Peter Chris on... I do think that maybe Peter Chris and um, Ace Frehley kind of worked with this song, maybe. You know, oh, you should have the song, or maybe Peter Chris, but... Well, this argument doesn't really work, because Ace Frehley wrote it, these songs, so there we go. A uh, good song, I do dig it. Um, kind of similar to Speeding Back to My Baby, just kind of generic, honestly. It is a minute long, and it does kind of... Uh, tremble on some more interesting uh, things that I like uh, from Ace Frehley, but overall it doesn't really do anything for me. It is good, but yeah, it just kind of sounds bland to me. It's alright, but you know, not anything special, honestly. Then we have Wiped Out. I just love the kind of crazy screaming on the track from Ace Frehley. He just kind of says, Wiped Out. He just goes crazy on the track. I love that. Uh, it's written by Frehley and Anton Fick. Which is, I believe, the drummer of the album, Anton Fick, however you say his name. Uh, great track, I love the screaming from Ace Frehley that he does sometimes on this track. Really crazy track in general, I really loved it. Uh, arguably one of my favorites of the record and pretty much an instant classic, really. And then we have Fr Fractured Mirror and, well, you know, every Kiss member kind of has a Led Zeppelin tribute song. And I don't know if I said it. On the, on, on the Peter Chris review, but uh, Kiss definitely has some kind of odes to Led Zeppelin, you know, because uh, I believe the closing song of Peter Chris's album was kind of similar to, kind of sounds similar to going, going to California by Led Zeppelin, and even they weren't really the most original at that time. Uh, very inspired by Led Zeppelin or by uh, My Lord of the Rings. And you know, before I bought Blues Arts, so there we go. They were pretty much the greatest cover band ever. Still kind of hard to today. Um, yeah, but this sounds very similar to that. It kind of reminds you of um, Rainbow Eyes 2 by uh, Rainbow. Uh, you know, kind of a melancholic acoustic closer. I do like that. The, the album was really rocking uh, up to this point, and then it just kind of closed out with a with an acoustic one, which is kind of inconsistent, honestly, but it does work for me. I do like me a soft cr uh, crooner, and that's exactly this song. Um, so overall, this, uh, this album was pretty good. I would say my favorites are Rip It Out, just great opening song. Snowblind is pretty good. Uh, New York Groove and Fractured Mirror. Fractured Mirror was a really great track, you know. I haven't really talked about it much, but it's pretty much the same as the Peter Chris closure, except it's just the songwriting is better. It's a little bit heavier, and it's just a better composed song in general. So, yeah, you know, the Fractured Mirror is kind of like the Peter Chris album, but it actually, you know, it was more thought behind it, it was better composed, 
better guitar riffs, you know, but x Ray is a guitar, so I cannot really blame him for that. I cannot really blame Peter Chris for that, but uh, yeah, overall this is just a better album than Peter Chris. I think we can all agree with that. Um, I don't think it's it's the greatest thing ever. It's it's a good album. It has some fitter on it. I, I think that Speeding Back to My Baby is kind of generic. I think What's On Your Mind is kind of a week closer to side one. Um, I'm In Need Of Love is generic. Yeah, I think those three songs are kind of bland, but the rest of the album is pretty good. I really dug it. Some of my favorite Kiss songs, Rip It Out, Snowblind, New York Groove and Fractured Mirror. Four of my favorite Kiss songs at the moment, so it's a really good album. It's definitely the best of the Kiss albums so far. I still have to listen to Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons, and those albums are probably not gonna exceed this album. Pretty good album, so I'm gonna give this album an 8 out of 10. Um, let me know what you think about this album in the comments down below. I've been on this. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel on the Smurf Feeders Live as well. Let me know what you think about Ace Frehley album, uh, the Peter Chris album, all of the all of the Kiss albums in general. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.